Hello and welcome back to my channel. This card is for the newest Lawn Fanatics Challenge. To start with, I am having to cut a lot of pieces. I have my outside in stitched mug, my stitched teacup, my build a snowman, gingerbread friends, stitched mug frame, stitched cupcake, spring critter huggers, woodland critter huggers winter add-on, stitched teapot, and woodland critter huggers. Starting with my teapot, I am going to ink blend it with saltwater taffy distress oxide. This isn't anything special, I'm just adding color to this. I could have used colored cardstock, but I really wasn't sure when I started this what colors I'd want to use. Also, distress oxides are just fun to use anyway. Now that that one's finished, I am going to take Evergreen Bow and I'm going to ink blend my coffee mug as well as my little cupcake or muffin liner. You can see that my green blending brush did have sort of a more yellowy green on it, so you can kind of see that, especially here when I'm blending in on the cupcake liner. I just go back over it with the darker Evergreen Bow to get it to not be so yellow green. Moving along, I have my little teacup, and I'm going to use Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide to color this in. Now, any future ink blending I do will be one of these colors, with the exception of me using Carved Pumpkin on a couple of pieces. And that's these two pieces right here. I forgot to show Carved Pumpkin, but that's what color this is. So I have a beak and a carrot. These pieces are so tiny, they're quite difficult to ink up without getting ink all over your fingers. Now, I've die cut out several pieces from the Woodland Critter Huggers die set. And for the little tail, I did cut it out of the teapot shape. Or actually, I guess I cut the tail piece out and then I cut it over again with the teapot die to make sure that the stitching and everything matched up. So this one is going to be a little fox adding little eyelashes. I always hate that part. I always feel like I get them on unevenly or kind of crooked. Actually, the nose in this one's a little off. Whoops, I didn't notice until I finished. Now my little coffee mug is gonna be a penguin. I know these colors don't make sense, but I really wanted to get it Christmas themed. Now this one's gonna look strange for a second. I have um, die cut from a scrap white piece of paper, the little snowman face from the Build a Snowman set. And I colored in all the little pieces with a warm gray marker. And they didn't stay in the die cut piece, so I did have to kind of place them back in after I put glue in it. But I used the scrap piece just to kind of keep my place of everything, which the little dots for the mouth didn't stay in there, but the glue dots kind of gave me an idea of where they belonged. So gluing the nose on. And I did give that a couple details with some marker, which I did off camera. I know, shame on me, sorry. It's just adding some lines in it. And now my little teacup is going to be a gingerbread. So I have used some of the gingerbread friends dies for that. Now I'm taking metallic shimmering rose nouveau drops as well as Neptune turquoise. And I'm just gonna add the little buttons onto my gingerbread guys. These are from the Woodland Critter Woodland Critters. I can't even talk. Ugh. Woodland Critters Winter Add-on die set. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some white detail, kind of like frosting, because right now they look a little creepy with just their white eyes. So I decided I'd add some little squiggles around the ankles and the wrists, as well as outline the mouth, just so the white eyes don't look so weird. And then for the pink buttoned gingerbreads, I'm adding some little swirls at the head just to make it kind of look like hair or something. I noticed I use my middle finger to hold things a lot. It's usually because I have a cap or something in my left hand, so my index finger isn't really available. I promise I'm not flipping you guys off. <laughs> all right, I have this all the dots paper, which I'm not using the dots from this. I'm using the little, what looks like candy cane stripe, sort of. And I have a couple of thin strips. I do not have the 12 by 12 pad, so I did have a seam here. Eh, I decided I didn't really mind it. <laughs> I don't usually buy the 12 by 12 paper pads. Anyway, just lining them up, trying to make sure that they match. And then I have this white strip that's wider, so it'll cover the ends. 
placing that in the middle, and then I have some nitpicky winter paper. I did the exact same thing. It's just a slightly thinner strip, well, two strips, and lining that up, ignoring the seams, cutting off the edges as best as I can. This was a little bit difficult. I think it's just because it was so many layers of paper. Now that my card base is done, I can move on. I am taking this antique linen distress oxide and I intended on lightly going over the edges just to make this stand out a little bit, but I got kind of heavy handed. Whoops. It's fine though. Now I'm going to place my pieces, just attaching everything with liquid glue. I did leave a space at the top of the penguin mug so that I could fit all the pieces in. So I have the whip topping, some marshmallows, and a little candy cane. That candy cane is from the Woodland Critter Huggers Winter Add-on. Yay, I got it right this time. <laughs> yeah, just placing everything. I got this little bow. One of them is from the... Oh gosh, don't get me lying. One is from the Gingerbread Friends set, and the other one is from Build a Snowman, I think. One looks more masculine than the other, so the little snowman has the one that's not quite as round. I'm just placing all my pieces. I did decide to add a couple coffee beans. This is from one of the stitched mug sets. And then because I felt like I needed something on the edges, I did um, die cut and color with those distress oxides the little holly and berries. So moving on to my sentiment, it took me a while to figure out what I was doing. I have these Henry's ABCs already die cut out. I didn't show you the package because these were actually already things that I had cut out. I have like a whole little organizing thing that has a bunch of them in there. But anyway, just ink blending from the bottom and not going all the way up because I want it green and white instead of just green. Doing that with the word wish and then going in with my saltwater taffy on the word warm. Again, going from the bottom, not all the way to the top. Just kind of blending it from one color to white. Then I can glue them on. This is just with liquid glue. And you only get to see me glue on the word warm because my husband called me and my phone will not record while I'm on it. So anyway, my card is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back with another video soon. Bye!